So organisms will persist, we've just got to be able to feed them the, the right foods. Any questions? Hmm? You ask more questions. I'll ask more questions, all right. <laughs> On the scale of What's the time scale for what, sorry? Good question. Yeah. Yeah, and if we're dealing in um, these kind of geological processes, I think if you go down to the Franz Joseph Glacier, you've got an excellent example there. You think about the Kaikatea Forest there is about 22,000 years old. You've got zero at the edge of the glacier, and then as time progresses. So say you have a, a block at the moment that's got high weed, you've got a lot of weed, weed pressures. That will change within decades. You'll start to see that movement. Think about how quickly gorse will start to move in. You guys have done succession you know, you think about nurse crops or letting native bush recover, it will recover quite quickly. You, know, you can get that within 10 years. What we're finding with biological systems, people see results within one year. You really do see that change. And that's why we're going to go and do these field trips on Thursday and see some systems that have changed quite quickly. Yep. Louisa. Louisa. We've just uh, we explored all this stuff ourselves. Um, can you uh, get to a point where I know which bacteria if I'm the uh, nematode I need in order to get the system that I want and then we can go away or do you know where I'm coming from? It's it's a good question and I'll try and kind of answer it. If you want to look at the system, it's often a good idea to look at what is it that I'm growing and how what sort of environment would that species be growing in naturally and what would that system be working with. So, you know, there's a lot of orchardists here who maybe that system would be more fungal dominated. So, what kind of foods can we put in? But I wouldn't start to second guess and go, oh, well, I need this and I need this. But if you're doing a soil food web test and you get a test back that says, I have no protozoa, there are some quite simple techniques like making um, hay tea, soaking hay and just putting that liquid out, and there'll be loads of protozoa in there to inoculate your soil. So, there are some things that you can do, and testing will certainly help you determine what you haven't got. But I think broad spectrum for me, yeah, to food. Thank you. So then, Carl, uh, in the succession uh, slide, you uh, talked about shifting the balance away from early succession to early succession. Mm -hmm. And then you talked about the disruptive practices that were shifted back. Mm -hmm. One was agriculture and bond The other was the application of mineral. Fertilizer. Salt fertilizers. Salt fertilizers. Oh, very good. Um, I can give you some papers and some research if you'd like to know more about the effects of salt fertilizer on biology, because there is a lot of papers out there. It is a fundamental issue. But there's things that we can do, like you can use urea very successfully if you buffer it with a humic acid, and the humates people are here to talk about that. If you can actually put a food on when you put a lot of these fertilizers on, you will get an improvement in that soil biology, and it is measurable, and people are measuring it. We're not talking airy fairy, that these are things that you can see, and, and I'm very pleased that um, Graham's doing a presentation after me because you can actually see these changes visually. So there are fertilizers, you, you, you can change, just modify your practices slightly. So if you're going to till, till by all means, but there's the things that you can do to help that soil recover or, or feed that carbon that's being exposed. Yeah, so thank you, good question. And just to finish, we know more about the movement of the celestial bodies than we do about the soil underfoot. And I think this is still very true today. No, no, keep it on, keep it on. Time, oh. time to go and we've got two more questions. Okay. <laughs> Because over time, would you expect that a healthy soil would actually work against the monocultural production system, like your one grass or, or uh, one crop? Good question. Would soil biology work against the monocrop? No. For me, this is part of. We are in a monocrop. We are in a mono. Many of us are monocroppers. I'm thinking about the apples and the vines. So therefore, your diversity is underground. So how can we encourage diversity to make that more robust? In a, in a grass system, we are finding you start to get more diversity with the species that actually start to germinate because you're changing that soil environment. So although you might just want to have ryegrass, nature will fight that and you will start to get diversity and that's great. Just ryegrass that you have with your ear. No, but yeah. <laughs> do. And, and there was a qu another question down the back somewhere there. Still, Is that you? Still? Greta? Oh, I asked a question. How does... Um, <laughs> <laughs> how does... Oh, my understanding is that it's the likelihood of organisms that actually create carbon in the soil. Can you talk a little bit about how this relates to the soil carbon? Oh, no.
no, that's, that, yeah, that's good. So you, your carbon's actually been captured by the plant. Yeah, and sugars, what are sugars made of? of carbohydrate, yeah? So we've got a C, H, and an O. That's what sugars are made up of. So the plant's actually pulling those sugars in through photosynthesis, well, making photosynthesis with phosphorus and, you know, your cycle, and pushing that down out through the root zone. So when the biology get hold of that, they can actually utilise that and hold it in their bodies. And then the glomalin, you know, just uh, being produced by the fungi is actually excreted into that soil. So if you've got... Um, organic material that you're incorporating into the soil or the microbes are being able to get hold of. And you watch worms, man, they'll pull that organic matter right down so you can see that lovely humus being taken down. That has been turned into the sticky humus substance that you should be seeing and there's your visible sign that that actual carbon's being being sequestered, being held. Does that kind of answer that? Yeah.